In Xcode 15, color and image access are backed by Swift symbols and can be code completed. So this means when you have a custom color or image in the assets catalog, like the one I have here, Xcode automatically generates symbols for each of them. So it generates a symbol when you have a custom color or you have image in the assets catalog. You can then reference the generated symbol in your code instead of using a string name to show the image. In this file, let's add the image using the string name first. So I will add the image name and then add some styling. Since we are in Xcode 15, we don't need to enter the string name for the image. This is very useful because sometimes you may enter the string name wrongly. So instead, we can reference the image using the dot syntax. So I will put a period. The first option shows the image I have in the assets catalog. So let's select that. So this is how you can reference custom colors and images you have in the assets catalog. In Xcode 15, 